In this lecture, we'll be working with the Red Eye Correction tool to remove red eye. Before we activate the Red Eye tool, let's increase the magnification and zoom in on the eye area so we can do this as, as accurately as possible. I'll set a magnification of 4 to 1, and I'll navigate over to the eye area. Once you've done that, go ahead and select the red eye removal tool, which is over here. Okay, make sure you uh, have the red eye tool checked, not pet eye. To use this tool, what you'll need to do is locate the center of the eye you want to work on. So for in this case, I'm, using, I'm doing the left eye first. Position the crosshair directly in the middle of the eye. Hold your left mouse button down and then drag this circle outline so that in, it encompasses the eye area and then let go. So you can see that Lightroom detected most of the red eye but not all of it. So what we'll need to do here is on the adjustment panel increase the pupil size towards the right. Now if you'd like to try it again you can. Sometimes you don't get the result you want on the first try. Just press the reset button. And let's go ahead and do that one more time. Okay, so that time I got a much better result. I just made the radius of that uh, of the perimeter a little bit larger and it worked well. If you'd like to darken the eye color, move the slider to the left. If you want to lighten it up a bit, you can move it to the right. Now go ahead and do the same for the right eye. Okay, so that time it didn't work well at all. So what I'm going to do is, instead of redrawing it, I'm going to try to see if I can get away with just adjusting the existing perimeter. So hold your left mouse button down and just drag. And you can also reposition it if you need to. So it looks like this time I'll have to go pretty large with the perimeter of the circle. Another reason you don't want to go too large with the radius of this white circle is because what starts happening is you start to notice discoloration in the skin tone as well. Now a little bit is okay because once we zoom out you won't be able to see it anyways. But you certainly don't want to do it to the point where it's going all over the place. Now similar to the spot removal tool, the circles we've drawn here, if you don't want them visible, you can go to Tool Overlay and select None or any of the other options that you prefer to work with. And once you're satisfied with the changes, click off the Red Eye Reduction tool and the changes will automatically be applied. Now we can zoom out, so I'll just go back to Fit. And you can see when we're zoomed out, it, it did a really good job, especially because the eyes were completely red. Most of the time, it's not that bad. And so I'll just reset it to see the original. So that was the before, and this is the after.